All right, guys, what's going on? Just back with another video here. And so today we're going to have a look at Christian Freeland, who has been rumored for a while to be, let's just say, on the out of the um, at least of her uh, official position, which is the finance minister of Canada. It looks like she's going to be removed sooner rather than later. And now the question remains is, is she going to be removed completely from the uh, liberal uh, cabinet and maybe be replaced uh, if she decides to step down or, or whatnot. But uh, let's have a look at this video here and then we'll talk about it after like usual. For more analysis, let's bring in CTV chief political correspondent Vashi Capellos. Vashi, Ottawa has promised to meet the 2% spending target by 2032. Why now and how is the government planning to pay for it? Hi, Heather. Yeah, there aren't a lot of answers when it comes to how this new spending will be accounted for or where the government is going to get the money for. We are talking about additional billions of dollars each year, but I think that is reflective of the first part of your question, which is why now? Just a few months ago, April 8th, I think, the Minister of Defense released a defense policy review. He articulated a goal of getting to 1.76% by 2030, but didn't have a goal of going to 2%. The pressure from allies in the interim has increased to a point where it came to a head in Washington this week. And my sources say this plan to get to 2% was only finalized in the last few days. There's a lot of... So just, just quickly, I know this is a bit off topic, but just to quickly say, you know, this whole... We need to be at 2% uh, for military funding in order to be in NATO. What, for defense? Since when is NATO a, 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 an organization, a organization about defense? This is about offense. They provoke wars. They don't prevent them. They don't have necessary wars. They have wars for profit. So you know what? Fuck NATO. We don't even need to be in NATO. Don't know why we still are. Don't know why the states aren't, uh, aren't leaving either. What are they for? Well, for defense, we need military defense to protect ourselves from terror attacks. Right. But what it's actually used for is to go over to places like Yemen, Syria, and Somalia, which creates a lot of revenue for the military-industrial complex and military contractors um, in, all, in all countries in the West. That's what they're there for. It's not for defense. If they were actually for defense, then fine, but that's not what they're there for. So you know what? Screw NATO and screw that whole 2%. We shouldn't even be involved. About the reasons for actually making this announcement now. Heather? All right, Vashi. And we also heard from the Prime Minister today on reports of tensions with the Finance Minister. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, this story from the Globe certainly set off alarm bells here in Ottawa. The Prime Minister did nothing to quell the rumors that Christia Freeland is on her way out from the finance portfolio. It looks like people around him certainly believe she is a big part of the reason that they are doing so badly in public opinion polls. Whether Mark Carney gets into the game, well, that's a whole different story, though the Prime Minister didn't deny asking him. I have been talking with Mark Carney for years now about getting him to join federal politics. I think he would be uh, an outstanding addition at a time when uh, Canadians need good people to step up in politics. Now, sources close to Carney tell me that it would be a long shot for him to come into the portfolio at this time. He is still considering, of course, a bid to replace Trudeau at the helm of the Liberal Party. Associating himself with the Trudeau brand at this point could be politically damaging. In the long run, what seems much more certain, however, as I mentioned off the top, is that Christa Freeland is likely on her way out this summer from the Minister of Finance. So that's pretty good news. I mean, Mark Carney is a clown. And like uh, like they said, too, it's not likely that Mark Carney will try to attach himself to the Liberal cabinet now because everything that's attached to the Trudeau brand is going to absolute shit. You saw it in the Toronto um, St. Paul by election that just happened a few weeks ago, right? People were not voting for liberal candidate Leslie Church specifically because of Trudeau. They actually like Leslie Ch uh, Leslie Church, but it's like anything liberal associated with Trudeau, they're out of here. And Mark Carney is smart enough to realize that you don't attach yourself to a failing brand. It makes no sense. What does make sense for him is to try to take Trudeau's spot after the next election, or maybe somehow even before. Um, now, in terms of Mark Carney being the finance minister even without the trudeau brand it would make sense from trudeau's standpoint however it's interesting that after all this time and after all this failure of nine years that now finally justin trudeau is going to start blaming one of the people who's at fault for a lot of these problems the finance minister christian freeland and it really looks like she's finally going to be out of here 
And for those of you who watch her speak in interviews or in the House of Commons during question period, this will be very welcome news to you because her voice is just so just squeaky and uh, she's just you know, with the way she puts her hand on her hip and she's got, she's very smug and condescending too. And she, she just thinks that she's like an expert on this, even though I don't believe she has much of a, a history of, in finance at all, if any. So, but anyway, it looks like it's going to be uh, some good news. We don't have to hear uh, Christian Freeland speak that much anymore, if at all. And it looks like it's going to happen before House of Common readjourns in the, or sorry, uh, comes back from the summer break, which I believe is in early September. So it looks like by then we're going to have a new finance minister. Do I think it's going to be Mark Carney? Probably not. I don't think he'll say yes right now. That being said, I'd love to hear in the comments section who you guys think will be the new finance minister, because I'm not even sure who it would be. So it, it will be very interesting to see, um, you know, what happens with, with that. Uh, how much longer does Christopher Freeland have? If she's gone by the summer, it's, you know, we're already uh, approaching the middle of July, so it's, she doesn't have much time. So I would suspect within the next, you know, 30 to 45 days, she will be removed, which is uh, one step closer to what most Canadians are looking for. Um, so that's going to be it for this uh, video, guys. Let me know who you think would replace or who you think should replace Christian Freeland in the comment section. I always enjoy reading those. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really, really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.